No matter where you live, I'm sure home security is a big deal for you, and that's why you always want to have a nice security system along with some cameras so you can see what's going on. So today we're looking at the Rexing Solar Sensor Light Camera that gets powered by the sun, that way you don't have to remember to charge it or plug it into a power supply, and it even has motion sensors so that way whenever it detects motion it'll start recording or snap a picture depending on which mode you have it in, and if it's at night it'll even turn on the spotlight so that way you can get a nice clear picture even in the dark. Now all this sounds cool, but right off the bat there are a couple things I should let you know which is going to make you probably not want to get this. For all intents and purposes, instead of calling this a security camera, I feel like most people would call it a trail camera, and that's because it has a few shortcomings when it comes to home security. First things first, it's marketed as a wireless security camera, which in fact it is wireless and you don't even have to plug it in to charge it because it's powered by the sun, but the big problem here is you can't view the content remotely through a phone or through an app or through a computer or anything. The only way to view the footage is by plugging this into a computer, although apparently it only works on Windows and I only have a Mac, so I'm not going to be able to test that part out, but you can also just pull out the micro SD card, put that in your computer and get the footage off. But of course, when it comes to security systems, that's not really what you want to do. Remember, you're going to have this mounted up somewhere, probably above your garage or wherever you decide to put it, and every time you want to get a video off, you're going to have to climb up there, open it up, pull out the SD card, and plug it in your computer. Sounds like a hassle. I'm not sure why they went that route because I have tried other Rexing products including some dash cams and they're actually pretty good and they even have apps, so I'm not sure what they were thinking here. But with that being said, it does have a bunch of features that might make this worthwhile for you. Once again, we're looking at solar charging, so it's powered by the sun, a 4,000 milliamp hour battery, so that way on cloudy days it still has enough charge to keep you going. We have 0.2 second induction recording, so that way it'll automatically start recording within 0.2 seconds of a detecting motion. We have a 12 meter sensing distance so it can pick up sounds. 120 degree 4 watt LEDs for that bright night vision. It's got a 120 degree lens so it can capture a pretty wide field of view. It has a 120 degree motion sensor along with 1080p full HD video recording. We have built in tool setting UI, although remember it only works for Windows, so you're not going to be able to adjust that. And you can also actually adjust how long the video will record, although once again you need Windows to actually actually access any of these features. But it supports up to a 512 gigabyte micro SD card, it's simple and easy to install, and it's IP56 dust and water resistant, that way you can leave it outside in all the harsh elements. Now overall the box is pretty simple, but you know it gets the job done, lists all the features, and it looks pretty good. Inside the box of a user guide, the camera itself, some mounting screws, a micro USB cable you can use for charging as well as connecting it to your Windows computer and a strap so you can strap it onto something. Now taking a look at the actual camera itself, it actually looks very nice, feels very high quality, and I mean, if this was wireless, I mean it is wireless, but if I was able to use it wirelessly with my phone or something, it'd actually be a really good camera. Right up top we have a big solar panel so it can capture the sun's energy and turn it into electricity. Over here on the front we have some light Rexing branding on top of the 120 degree lens, along with the two spotlights and the motion sensor so it can detect motion. Down on the bottom we have a microphone hole, over on the left side we have nothing, over on the top we got nothing else, and then over on the right side we have a waterproof cover, and underneath, actually, we have an off switch that you can switch to video and picture mode, just with the flip of a switch. We have a micro SD card slot above a reset button, as well as the micro USB port. Now as you can see this is a very simple product, and really the only thing that's missing is having a wireless app, but well, I guess this doesn't have any Wi-Fi antennas or anything in it, so this is literally as good as it gets. Although if for some reason you don't mind all that, like you don't need to actually watch a live feed or pull the videos remotely, then I mean I guess it'll get the job done. So really it's up to what you need to use a camera for because maybe this isn't perfect for home security but you know, maybe you want to just put in the trail, you just want to put it somewhere to capture something that might happen in addition to your other home security cameras. Now over on the back is where you can mount it up, as you can see it's very simple, we have two holes here so you can screw it into the wall, and I guess you can actually put this strap through here and strap it to yourself or hang it from something? I'm not really sure what you would use this strap for to be honest, but if you know, let me know. Personally, I'm just gonna mount it on the wall like this. Seems like the easy way to do it. So really, to get this set up, all you have to do is put in the micro SD card, make sure you format it first, and then we can choose video or picture mode. So first, I mean, let's try out picture mode real quick. We have the red LED indicator light on the bottom, so it is actually working right now. I'm assuming it's taking pictures. Oh, it's flashing right now. It just took a picture, it's flashing again. Hey, Turn off the studio lights. Sure. Alright, so now we're in the dark, so, whew, as you can see, it just took a picture with the bright flashlights. So every time it lights up, it's actually taking a picture. Hey. Okay, that's a long one. Stop, 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 I can't see! Oh wow, it's very sensitive and it actually reacts every time I move. 
turn the studio lights on. Whew. So now let's switch it over to video mode and let's try this out again. So let's have it set up right here. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, turn off the studio lights. So right now we're testing it during the day, you know, it's lit up and then the lights are out. So now it's completely dark. It's not able to see anything, but alas, come on. <laughs> there we go. We got the flashlight on now. I'm not sure if this is the same video clip or a separate one, but wow, there we go. The light's supposed to stay on for five seconds by default, and I guess if you keep moving, it'll keep recording based on the settings that you have in the app that I can't access because I don't have Windows. And as you can see, it turned up, but it came back on. See? So it's actually very responsive, although I'm not sure how long it's recording, but I guess we'll find out. Hey Google, turn on the studio lights. All right, turning on three I mean, this light is pretty bright and shining in my eyes. I'm seeing spots everywhere. But with all this being said, we're going to head outside, set this thing up on the garage, and see how well it actually works in the real world. All right, so we're back now. We had this thing set up on the garage, and I mean, for the most part, it's very good. It has 1080p video quality at 30 frames a second. The motion sensor is very sensitive, and it picks up, you know, motion, and activates and records, snaps pictures, lights up, you know, it does what it has to do. So, as a camera that, you know, detects motion and records stuff, it's very good. Now, you remember, the shortcomings that we're having here is that the only way to get the footage is by plugging this into your computer if you have Windows or you know popping out the micro SD card if you have Windows or Mac or I guess anything else. So with all the good stuff like the solar charging, 1080p video quality, motion sensing, bright flashlights, for me I don't have any use for it but you might. Let me know what you're going to use this for if you decide to pick this up but really if this had Wi-Fi it'd be a very good camera but unfortunately it does not so there's that. So I feel like they really shouldn't be marketing this as a wireless solar camera, although it is wireless, you know, there's no wires, it is solar, but you can't connect wirelessly and that's what you're going to think. So a lot of people, if you don't really read through the description of the product, you're going to get it and be like, wait a minute, where's the app? Wait a minute, there isn't one. Wait a minute, I have to plug it in to get the video? <laughs> wait a minute, it's going back. But if you don't need that, I could definitely recommend this camera for you because it'll get the job done, it works very well, and I mean, it's very well made. 